What's up, suckers, and welcome back to Everything Courtney, another Vlogmas video. I'm gonna try to be very productive this Vlogmas. God, give me strength, give me ideas, give me the perseverance. Cause that's 25 days, okay? This is day two of Vlogmas. Feeling great, feeling great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today is Wednesday, so it's time for another What's the Word Wednesday. Yeah. So in last week's video, I mentioned that I was gonna talk about making plans before the Lord. This is something that I've been utilizing in this season of my life a lot because a man without a vision shall perish. And if I don't really have a vision, therefore I have no plans and therefore I will perish. And I don't wanna do that, you know? So I'm trying to be sure that in all things I do, I'm making a plan. And it was confirmed to me that a plan is necessary because of a sermon I watched just this past weekend. And it made me realize that a plan in your life doesn't have to be just for one thing, not just for purpose, but for other things. I watched Pastor Darius Daniel's sermon on Sunday and he talked about a plan for your pain. And that sounds like, why would I make a plan to have pain? Who wants to deal with pain? But we're human and pain is gonna come, it's inevitable. He was saying, you know, you're not in the right mind frame to be able to make a just decision on, I should do this and respond this way. Because when you're in pain, you're not thinking right. And so it just really opened my eyes that I need to make a plan, not just for my purpose, but for every area of my life, a plan for my finances, a plan for my career, a plan for my stewardship, a plan for my community giving, all that type of stuff. I need to make a plan and I need to be able to have a plan, have a vision and write it down, make it plain to God. So today we're talking about that and I'm going to be reading <laughs> Proverbs 16 verse 1, NLT version, of course, and that is my key scripture today. And so let's pray. Spirit of the living God, we are honored yet once again to be before your gracious throne, God, to be in your presence and to be in your word. Your word that will read us to filth. Lord, we say thank you for the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge that will come from today's video. Lord God, you know your children, Lord, we are seeking guidance, we're seeking purpose, we are seeking clarity on a lot of things in our lives in this season, God. We thank you because we know that you are the ones who give it to us, oh God. That if you don't do it, Lord, it won't be done. So God, we are living in expectancy, Lord God, to see these plans that we will lay before you in these coming days and weeks and months, oh God, to come to pass. And we give you the glory in advance for it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, the name that is able to do it exceedingly and abundantly. And we say thank you, Lord. Amen. So Proverbs 16 and 1 says, we can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. And I will jump down to Proverbs 16 and 3 says, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Now that used to be one of my favorite scriptures. Commit all your ways to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Commit all your ways to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Blah, 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 blah. Just kept saying it to myself. Oh yeah, commit it. It's going to succeed. Like no matter what, it's going to happen. However, I wasn't really taking into consideration that I was still only t talking about my plans and I wasn't really considering if my plans were therefore matching with God's plans for my life. And that is what makes the difference because I could commit my ways to him. But verse one is what makes the difference and we can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. So I think back then a lot of my problem was I was making the plans and I was expecting the Lord to answer based upon my plans. Now that I'm a lot older and I'm more understanding of that, I'm like, okay, God, so what now? You know, and it's really crazy because to have that revelation because recently I've been praying a lot to God about, okay, God, um, what's my purpose? Like, what is it that you created me for? Like, me specifically. Uh, I know you had me in mind before I was formed in my mother's womb, God. So, you know, I really want to walk in that. I really want to be like, dominating in that territory right now and I feel like I'm still not sure and I know like you may have me in this season of obscurity to prepare me to walk into it so God I want to make sure I'm maximized on everything it is and one of the things is I really I noticed that throughout this year I didn't make a solid plan with God I didn't do the whole New Year's resolution thing I don't really like to believe in the resolution thing I believe in laying things out and making a plan and writing it out plain for God and I don't mean the universe I meant God Jesus Holy Spirit, the Trinity. 
anyway and so i have been talking about a lot like in these last two months like oh god you know i want to succeed in everything i do god and i had like a gist of what it is i was talking about when i said it but i hadn't written out anything and i hadn't really elaborated on it to god either i had just like these ideas but i hadn't written it down i had it in my head <laughs> and up there it it kind of get a little misconstrued with other stuff and that you know when i just was really failing to practice the part where i'm supposed to write this stuff down and make it plain so not long ago i was on my way to work and i was like praying to god in my head on my way to work as i typically do every morning and i'm like just really thinking on like god how bad i want to know what it is i should be doing um how bad it is i want to succeed in these things because your words say i can't and i feel like i'm doing good but i'm not like really maximizing on anything because i still feel like i'm in a place of not being sure and lord you don't work in confusion so lord i know i need to you know seek you more and so as i'm like getting ready to turn down the road to my job i'm like okay god i want to i want to be successful with this i want to be successful with this and he literally just like downloaded my spirit like real life skr, skr. And he says um daughter shh, i got something to say he says something along the lines of make the plan so that i can come in and change the plan to work for your good i'm like oh i literally was on my like i turned on the road i was like oh you are right i haven't made any plans i keep praying to you god i want to have a successful business god i want to have a successful marriage i want to be um a successful youtuber i want to be a successful this and i want to have a successful that and everything just wants to be successful but i wasn't telling god what he's like okay you want to be a successful business person cool 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 what a successful what a successful what and i was like business person okay a successful what business person god's like what what do you want it to be a successful nail business? Do you want to have a successful hair business? Do you want to have a successful clothing business? Sis, what business? You're saying business and everything was just so vague because you know what? I did not have a plan. I wasn't thinking longevity. I wasn't thinking past the surface level. And then, you know, I did have some ideas of some um, businesses just for this particular example or plans that I wanted to be successful, but I had no work cut out for it. I just had nothing but faith. And yes, you need the faith because God, we need it. It's a part of believing in him. We can't lack faith and say we believe in God. It, he talks about it in his word. However, we neglect the necessity of the work. I have so much faith to know God's going to answer this. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Oh, God going to reveal this plan to me. Oh, he's going to reveal the steps to this. Order my steps, oh God. Make your path clear. Make the length of my feet shine bright, God. And God's like, I got that. Like, that's what I come do. I do what I do best. Like, I don't need no help with that. However, daughter, what I need you to do is work. And by work, make the plan. Make it plain. I say I want to have a successful YouTube channel, but have you been writing out your ideas? Have you been elaborating on them? Or do you just have titles? Do you have ideas? Or do you have some ideas sitting in the bank that you haven't recorded yet? Personal conviction right there just that kind of stuff the holy spirit comes in to do what we can do okay so i can have all these plans in my head of oh i want to have a success with this but if i'm not making it plain if i'm not doing the work if i'm not showing god that i really mean this thing it's not gonna happen it's like saying oh i want to have a successful bakery but i've never learned how to make a cake in my life what a three-tier two-tier cake means like if i haven't really put my heart into what it is i'm after for god to uh, help me with then what am i even doing and then getting close to god he has given me new desires and new ideas he's given me so many things and i'm like god i don't want you to take from me these things you've been part of in me because i failed to plan and i failed to create vision around them and then give it to someone else and they cultivate it and not because of like i don't want someone else to be successful but because you gave it to me first you know, and I should be the one cultivating it and birthing it and seeing it come to pass and experiencing the success of that and not just financial success. We got to also reevaluate what we think success is. It's not just financial success because that is something we do desire, but also just the success of 
fulfilling what God has put into my life. You know, that's a part of my destiny, my purpose. I'm um, making a difference in somebody's life, being able to make a difference in my community, to be able to encourage someone else to start their business, to put in their work, to make their plan, their vision, because they see that mine is working. Anything, those things are success stories as well. And I don't want the Lord to take mine away and give it to somebody else and then I gotta watch them do it the way I didn't do it because I was being lazy and because I didn't want to put the work in. These idle hands can't be idle no more. This idle mind can't be idle no more. My mouth dang sure can't be idle. I speak life and I speak blessings and I speak it to come to pass. And living in this fantasy that it will, but if I'm not putting no work, baby, it ain't gonna happen, okay? It's been a couple weeks and I'm still in the midst of trying to figure this plan out, started writing it out. Things started coming, ideas started flowing. I'm not saying that my plan is perfect, that my plan makes total sense right now because it doesn't. If you read my plan, you'd be like, what are you talking about, Cordy? What are you, girl, I think you might wanna, you okay? You feeling, can you, are you slurring the speech, sis? Are you okay? Um, You literally, you probably would think something's wrong, but that's okay because it's between me and God and all he needed me to do to start, to show him that I will put in the word, that Okay, God, here are my ideas. They sound a little crazy, but your word tells me that I can make my own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. So if I just start, he will start revealing to me. He will start changing things. I can have an idea of my end goal and how I think I'm going to get there. Okay, God, I want this, this, this. I want my YouTube channel. God, I want a million subscribers by this time. God, I want it to do it this way. I want to post this many times a week. I want this type of video, whatever, whatever. And God, like, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cute. <laughs> Excuse me, now that you've shown me that you're willing to put in the plan and I see you trying to execute it, not just write it down, but actually trying to work in it, let me actually connect you with this source. Let me actually remove that. It's gonna feel weird for a little bit, but trust me, I know what I'm doing because I'm gonna need you to go here on this date. And when you go here on this date, this person's gonna be here that date and then y'all may bump into each other, just a simple hello, and then start talking. And then it's gonna do so many different things. And then God just be working miraculously. Like he worked in his own mysterious way that we will never fully understand because his thoughts are higher than ours and his ways are greater than ours. So we will never fully understand the ways of God, but I just know that I'd rather him come in and correct it than me out here still trying to do it my way thinking that I'm doing the right thing and it's just not being successful. And if I haven't been seeing success and I'm thinking I'm doing things the right way, I might need to go back and reevaluate what I've been doing and thinking is right because clearly it ain't working in my best interest. And I do know God will have you in a, in a season sometimes where you feel like, are you there Lord or are you listening? Am I doing this right? And you will feel kind of like, I don't really know what's going on. But he's still there. He's still, I'm not going to lie. For me, most times when I feel that way, it's because I have been in a season where I kind of stumbled or I backslid or I did something where I wasn't before him like I should be in his word. And then I try to jump back in it again. And what you're supposed to get yourself back, you recover. His grace is sufficient. He'll forgive you. His mercy is renewed fresh every day. And it's like, okay, I'm getting back in it, but now I'm expecting him to respond the same way he was responding before to give me that confirming spirit at the same speed he was before. And God's like, nah, wait, wait, I got to build my trust back because last time I was there with you, you kind of just, uh -uh, you know, and did your own thing when you got a few answers out of me. And now I need to make sure I can trust you again. But the great thing about God is that he's wanting that from you. He's willing to do that for you a million times. And we can do the same thing in the human aspect and a person can never trust you again, but you'll fight for that trust. So fight for that with God. Show him that, God, I'm willing to do whatever it takes for you to give me this answer. God, I'm so hungry for an answer. Y'all don't understand, okay? I am like foaming at the mouth. God, what is it? Starting writing my plan is going to help me because I'm starting to write some things out. And some things are just headings. I'm not going to lie. Some things on my list are literally just a word or like a few words and that's it. I don't have any subheadings, any steps underneath it. I just have an idea. Okay, God, I know you've given me this because I know I didn't think of this on my own. So what you want me to do with this? Now, some stuff, it's like, God, you gonna have to really walk me through this one because I don't know where to start for this. But I do believe that once I get started on the other things that's on that list that I'm kind of seeing direction for, then other things will start making sense and he'll start rebuilding more as he can trust me with more. And so, um, you know, don't give up. Like I said in my last video, there's still a point to your purpose and in trying to figure that out, making a plan is one of those things we should do. We need a vision, but that we will perish. And like I said earlier, not in just your purpose, but in every area of your life. I start making a budget plan because money can go just as fast as it can come. And I started seeing it going a little more than it was coming at one point. I'm like, what are you chill out? So I started making a plan for myself because I had goals that I wanted to reach. And if I didn't make a plan, those goals were just out in the air too. So I started making a budget goal. I started 
making plans for everything in my life that I realized I was trying to get some understanding of, some control over. So money is definitely one of those areas and my overall purpose. And I feel like starting this plan is going to help me out so much and so i encourage y'all to start making a plan for god you know some things he may have laid on your heart some old stuff that he been told you that you didn't get started on i was going through some of my notes and i'm like oh my gosh god has given me so many things that i have not started planning for it could just be an idea and i may not fully understand uh or just a concept he has given me and i'm like i forgot all about this god he's given me so many different things and different areas of my life that i have yet to start doing or like trying to uh, walk into yet and I'm like God thank you for giving me a chance to get this still together because I've seen some things that God has given me and I've seen other people out there doing it and I'm like now I'm not saying I'm the first and only person you're giving it to but they put the work behind the faith way quicker than I did and it made the difference and now they're reaping the benefit of sowing a seed of faithfulness and a seed of work and here I am like dang and just recently god's given me like three ideas that i need to really get on planning with because i don't really want to see nobody else do it and then god felt like he can't trust me or nothing and now i feel even more pointless like no i want to be one of those people and it starts with exercising that muscle of god i'll do it if i say yes lord if i'm telling you yes then i gotta be willing to do it and that yes it's a little now look you're saying yes to the overall picture, but sometimes the stuff to get there ain't really what you think. That's why he don't reveal the whole point at one time. Because if we see the stuff that's going to take to get to that, we'll say no. But he needs us to because he know we can do it. Make your plans. And the end of the year is coming. I know it may seem like, but the year's almost over. Why am I making a plan for 2020? Because we still have a month left. It ain't over till it's over, baby. And some plans won't get done in this month. However, you, that don't mean you stop. You keep working until the day of completion. You just keep working, you keep grinding, and things will keep growing and keep expanding, and your territory will just keep enlarging. And that's what I pray for you too, and for myself. I'm believing that from God. And so just remain faithful, remain steady. Don't get fearful, don't get afraid. Just keep going. And it, gonna be a journey but God is gonna be right there the whole way through he's gonna start coming in he's gonna step in and changing things making things work out for your good things that we can never figure out and that's because that's what God do like we know him to be that so I'm gonna really get back onto planning some things out and really trusting that God's gonna see it through definitely committing all these plans to him because if not they ain't gonna succeed <laughs> but I definitely need to make a plan for it to succeed that's my encouragement for you all today make your plan make it plain and commit it to the Lord and it will succeed. So I love y'all. Y'all please be safe. Pass this along to someone else who may be in a place of not really knowing what to do but have not made a plan yet. If you haven't made a plan, what, what we doing? <laughs> what we doing? Everything starts out with a plan. If you go to an investor and ask them to invest in your business, they're gonna ask you for a business plan. Nobody wants to sow into something that has no plan attached to it and that's no different than the kingdom. God needs to see a plan from you. And so that could be the one thing that is stopping you from getting the success that you're waiting for or from seeing things come to pass in your life so get that pen and paper your laptop whatever and start making a plan before god so your plans can succeed yes success all right so i love y'all y'all be safe out there be very mindful be considerate show love show compassion and share this with someone else who needs to make a plan all right oh and don't forget of course black lives matter bye see you in a second sucker.